Hey guys, this is Mike here. In today's video, we are gonna actually flash the uh, Bliss ROM uh, Android Pi version into the Nexus 5X itself. Um, logically, the official Google support for this device is only up to Android 8, I think. So ultimately, what we're gonna have is only Android Oreo. So a Bliss experience, uh, Bliss, Bliss ROM is as the Android Pi version which uh, is a stable version so uh, in today's video we are just going to go through the steps of installing that uh, flashing that to your Nexus 5X so first thing first what we're going to do is to enable your settings um, enable developer options so normally on this case you'll go to your about phone and tip, tap on the build number and then you are a developer so when you are a developer you can just go to your developer options and make sure that you have OEM unlocking enabled I have already unlocked so it's there and also allow the USB debugging which is there as well so just enable this too and we are ready to go so what you need to do next is basically to plug in the phone it, um, the cable itself <clears throat> and normally they'll prompt you this message what you need to do is always allow and press on OK then yeah you're good to go so the next step basically is to go to the computer to actually push in the uh, necessary files for us to continue in the process. So let's just get to the computer. Okay, so once we are in the computer itself, you will need to have minimal ADB and password installed. So what you need to do here would be do ADB devices to ensure device is connected. So you can see device now is connected. Then what you do is normally to do a ADB reboot, bootloader to put you into fast boot mode so once you're in fast boot mode then we can continue on with the process of flashing recovery and stuff right so when you're in fast boot mode so you can do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected so once you do that you can see it's connected and you uh, first step if you haven't unlocked your phone you should do a fast boot OEM unlock because mine is already unlocked so I don't need to do that so what you do is to unlock your phone and basically you will, go, you will need to go to a process of actually resetting your phone and all the stuff and after you are done with that you can come back to uh, continue from then on right so once you have your device unlocked what you need to do is to do a fast boot uh, flash recovery TWRP oh no wait sorry what we need to do is to navigate to the folder for your Nexus 5X Nexus 5X Then here's all the stuff that you have Then you do a fast boot Flash recovery TWRP 3.310 Right So once you have flashed that in What you need to do now is to boot into recovery so what we normally do you can actually go to your fast boot menu and boot into recovery or you can just put recovery this way normally what I do is do a fast boot boot TWRP 3.3 right that will brings you to a recovery menu then we will just wait for the <coughs> recovery to get booted up so once you have recovery get booted up on your phone you should be able to do ADB in devices you see that you are connected to the recovery right so once you are with that you have that so what we normally do is do ADV push there's two files you need to push in one of them would be the uh, list ah, sorry ADV publish slash SD card you can do this um, this will push the uh, file into the phone itself so we just need to wait for the process to complete Okay, so once the um, push has completed, uh, you will continue on with the GApps package. But um, I just want to share with you another option is that you can actually do a open a window. You can go in via this way as well. Um, means you can actually copy two files if you want to. So you can actually just copy this and just paste it over here like this. So it depends on which you prefer. Because normally I'll do it via the command prompt, so it's direct. But this one you can actually push in two files. 
one shot. So once you are done having both files into the um, phone itself, your process more or less are done for now. So you'll just get back to the phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, so once we have the um, things get pushed in, this is the first time when you boot your thing, so you can swipe your alarm modification. So normally what we'll do is do a factory reset, which is do a factory reset to wipe everything off. So once you are done, just go back to the install tab and you should see two files here. So normally we'll flash both together. So if just any in case anything goes wrong, where you find that you can't, you have a boot, uh, boot loop or whatever it is, then you can do it separately. So in this video, we'll just do it like um, one, at more zips two and more zips done so we have two zips that we're going to flash two so what we do now is just to swipe to confirm flash so they're actually uh, pushing in the bliss rom now installing flashing so we we'll just need to wait for the process to complete okay guys um, ultimately yeah this is bliss rom and i find that there's too many bugs unexplained bugs um, dark mode isn't working properly Somehow or other, and the um, as you can see, all my stuff isn't working properly. I accidentally touched the uh, gesture; it's not working. I enable Pi, but they are still the same. Dark mode needs to install theme, else you can't get dark mode, um, which is weird. But yeah, I don't get dark mode here as well. So ultimately, there are some stuff that are not working in Bliss ROM. So I think we will just proceed on to Pixel Experience. Okay, so what we do next, as you can see, we actually flash the Bliss ROM and I find that it's not uh, very good. And it seems a bit buggy for, for the sake of it. Um, we will try out the Pixel Experience ROM. Although it's in beta version, I've actually flashed it in uh, my next bit Robin and it seems to be very good so ultimately what we'll try now is to actually push in the pixel experience stuff so what we need to do now is to do a DB devices to ensure device is connected so yeah device is connected the next thing we do is ADB reboot boot loader to boot the phone into recovery mode Uh, sorry, to boot into fast boot mode. So once we are done in fast boot mode, we do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. Then uh, what we will do is to uh, do unlock fast boot OEM unlock. If you haven't unlocked your phone yet, so you can do this fast boot OEM unlock. It will basically go through a process of uh, factory setting your phone and stuff. So once you are done, let's get back here and continue on with the process. So fast boot flash recovery. WRP will be flashing the 3.3, the latest one to, to this. So once we have flashed this, we can do a fast boot. Fast boot, boot, TWRP 3.3, right? So once it's booted in, you wait for the recovery to boot up. Then once it's booted up, you should be able to see this. Uh, we do ADB devices. You can should be able to see that it's connected via recovery. So once that is done, you know that it's connected via recovery. There's two ways. You can do ADP push the Pixel Experience ROM into it, or you can just open up the Nexus 5X here. Go into internal storage. You can delete off the bliss, which I previously did. Uh, just delete that off. Yes. Then copy the Pixel Experience and just put it in okay then let for the wait for the uh, copy to finish and this uh, pixel experience ROM actually includes GApp so you don't need to flash GApps you just need to flash this and it should work fine right so what you need to do next is just to flash the pixel experience just wait for the copy to complete Okay, as you can see now, the copy is completed. So whatever process you have done on the PC is done. So we'll move on to the phone for the rest of the setup. We can unplug the cable. And swipe. So what you have here is this. So normally what we'll do is we'll do a factory reset. 
So once the battery reset is done, we can just go back and install and you can see now Pixel Experience. Just tap on it and swipe to confirm flash. So what we need to do next is just to wait for the process, flash process to complete. Okay, it seems like the flash is completed. So normally we do a white velvet cache. And we will just reboot it, do not install and just wait for the boot to complete. So you can see the Google boot image. Okay, the Nexus 5X has been booted up, so let's just try out the uh, stuff, just keep everything and see, make sure everything is working fine. Just keep continue, next, then diagnostic no, no accept, then skip this. Okay, there you go. We have Pixel Experience ROM running on uh, Nexus 5X. Let's just check out all the other stuff that is working. First of all, I would like to check on the gesture. They should have a uh, swipe up home button for Android 9 gesture. That is there. It's working fine. Right. Um, then the second thing is the dark theme, which is a display. Seems to be a bit lagged. Um, so you can actually change the device theme dark. It takes a while to do it, but yep, it works. So we have dark theme here. We have dark theme here. And like I said, it's still dark theme here, but somehow rather, which is pretty good, right? So, yep, there you go, Pixel Experience ROM. Somehow, right, the two things that I've actually tested is working. And um, most probably, it, this actually works much better than the uh, this ROM. So ultimately, I think if you guys wanted the Android 9 ROM, there's only two. Either you take the Lineage OS, um, I don't think they have the official one. Uh, this one is the beta as well, but uh, it's pretty stable so far from what I've read. So if you want an Android 9 ROM onto your Nexus 5X, this is the best bet that you can get, Pixel Experience ROM. And you get a full Pixel Experience look on your phone itself. So that's all I have for today's guy. If you like the video I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel and ding the notification bell. Um, that's all I have for today. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!